Hello guys and welcome back to another small speedy build. Today I am building in Sulani uh, and the lot name is called Peer Perfection I'm pretty sure. It's the one that had the really long house on it um, that built by EA which obviously bulldozed and just made my own and I don't actually think this build is that expensive. I didn't actually check it. Um, by all means, it's not a starter, I don't think. Um, but it shouldn't be too expensive because, like I say, it is a 32 tile house. Um, so it shouldn't be too expensive. Obviously, I did give them a boat out the back, but I didn't check how much that was. So... <laughs> That was a good one on my part, but yeah, um, I don't actually think it's that expensive, so you shouldn't need to worry. And of course, I did player test this house as well with my sim. You will notice me player testing it as I'm building it, my sim, pop my sim popping in and out, testing various things, um, and just making sure it all worked. I did have to manoeuvre a few things around just to make them work, and you know, um, make them a bit off tile if you know what I mean so they weren't in the centre of the tile they're a bit off tile so they actually worked and it does all function perfectly um, the only thing that I'm pretty sure doesn't function because of where the lot is placed is the ladder I put a ladder on the um, on the balcony would you say that's a balcony don't know but I put a ladder outside on on there, down into the water. But I think because um, the build is quite uh, far, um, actually, yeah, I think it's because the build is positioned more on land than in water. The they he didn't want to use the the ladder to get in and out of the water. So I think that is the only thing that is there purely for aesthetic and the way it looks I guess um, I did obviously if you see I did try to get my sim to do it a couple of times but he refused so I gave up with it but it does look pretty cool um, and again I did up, end up using the Murphy bed just because I tried some other beds and they just can't work because of the way the build is and because it's so small um, obviously I couldn't get the beds to fit and obviously the Murphy bed folds up with a couch and it just takes up less space so you know it worked out so much better in that way of doing it um, I tried not to use the Murphy bed again but unfortunately it came in handy so I used the Murphy bed um, yeah so and I thought this is a really nice change because I haven't built in Sulani for ever <laughs> um yeah I've I I think when the when Island Living uh pack came out as soon as it came out everyone played in it you know there was loads of builds on it everyone played in it I played in it for quite a while with one of my sims and I tested out the mermaids and diving and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then once I did that, I was like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> and I was just like, let's move on to the next thing. So, but I do love this world. I think this world is spectacular, literally. Oh, and the screenshots are perfect. I managed to get the screenshots just when the sun was going down. So in some of the screenshots, um, you'll notice the sun, the sunset, and it is just, oh, it is so pretty. And wouldn't you just like having a nice open window in a bathroom? And, you know, like, just looking out to the sea, it would be so cool. I would love to know if any of you guys live this like this. Do you have this sort of style of home? Do you live anywhere tropical? And that would be so cool if you know you do and it's like it's like this oh it'd be so cool but yeah enough about me you know fantasizing about you know where i would want to live but <laughs> but yeah as you can see um 
I was trying to, uh, yeah, trying to get my sim coming through the back door, but unfortunately the Murphy bed was just a bit too close next to the back door, so I did have to move it only slightly um, and it worked perfectly and I thought the white swatch of the Murphy bed fitted this home quite well. I really like the the darkness of the floor and the white of the walls. I thought it was pretty nice and it made it seem light and airy and I've never used this swatch of um, fridge before so I thought you know it's turning out a bit white and brown so I was just like I'll mix it up and put some colour in it but not too much so it looks a bit cartoony and um, but yeah I did and I used the oven in that swatch as well and I thought it it just brightened the place up and it looked really pretty as well so so yeah and I was going to use some of these enclosed showers but then I remembered ah oh, we have this shower <laughs> and it works perfectly obviously your sim can do things much more easier than they would if they had the enclosed shower there so and of course testing it making sure it's all good and it was uh, and I do go in as what I'm doing now um, I do go in and put more clutter items around but what I'm doing now is just trying to get a feel for how everything would be laid out um, placing things down like the essentials like toilet sink shower um, stove fridge bed stuff like that seeing how it will fit um, and making sure it all works first before I put any clutter stuff down and having to move that clutter stuff and oh you know all of the above so yeah <clears throat> sorry still got a little bit of a cough <laughs> doesn't seem to want to leave my body <sighs> um, and I thought this little balcony bit I did think that this would be a really good area to have like the living area outside because it is such a small home, it's a micro home. So I wanted to have the inside, obviously, the bedroom, the bathroom and the kitchen. And the outside, I thought it would be so good to have the living room. And because it's in Solani, um, I said that really weird, Sulani, sorry. <laughs> because it's in Solani, oh my God, because it's in Sulani. <laughs> oh my common accent coming out there <laughs> um yeah because it's in this tropical world um it's so much easier to have the layout like that because you never you can, i think in this world you do get storms if you have seasons installed you do get storms and you know unpredictable weather sometimes but it's not like snow or i don't think you get rain you might get right i think you do yeah you do get rain in this world but it's not ridiculous you know so you can live outside perfectly if you want it to um, so yeah testing out the bed again um, and as I was testing it I had the welcome wagon wagon come around and that was really goddamn annoying because when you're trying to test things and the welcome wagon it's just ugh. and again as you can see my sim did not want to use those the um, the ladder which was quite annoying but I thought I'd keep it there, you know, just to make it look fuller and proper. Um, I was thinking about giving my sim or your sim a TV, but I thought it looks a bit weird. I don't think it would fit properly in this house, as well as you wouldn't want to sit on that sofa and have your head at a weird angle to try and see the TV. I don't think that works very well. So I took that away. I do eventually put in a um, like a little tablet for them to use, like some sort of technology that they can go on the internet with. Because um, as I was building it, I was like, they haven't really got anything modern in this place. Like there's there's nothing for them to go on and you know stay in touch with the world. So I put in a tablet. Uh, on the bedside table right at the end because I just remember it and I was just like um, I might as well put one in it seems more more common sense to you you know have something like that um, <clears throat> so yeah thought that was a good idea and what I'm doing now is just I think I was putting around some clutter items and putting up the mirror from Tiny Living I actually really like that mirror um, I think it goes nice in this home as well um 
yeah and obviously I'm putting clutter items around but I wanted to <clears throat> sorry I wanted to player test it because sometimes clutter items can get in the way of your sim routing properly so yeah it's a bit annoying on that one but yeah just put in I think I put yeah one more window near the near the kitchen et area <laughs> and of course I wanted to put clutter down but I didn't want to go overboard with the clutter on the counters because that half counter just by the stove they can't use that for cooking but they can use the full counter by the fridge for cooking and obviously I didn't put a sink in there because they have a sink in the in the toilet or bathroom so I thought they would use that you know to clean their dishes and stuff like that but I didn't want to clutter that surface um, because sod's law you know they won't be able to prepare meals so so yes I didn't clutter it um, but obviously you can clutter it if you download this build you can clutter it and of course it will be uploaded to my gallery which is kid chuckles for you to snoop and have a look um, so yeah and oh the sunset in this world is so pretty how pretty is that it makes it just glow like a lovely orangey purpley color it's really pretty um, and yeah love it and I actually really like this build I was quite proud <laughs> quite proud of my little tiny micro <laughs> um, and I hope you guys are as well I hope you guys like it and as well put in some foliage around the place I really love this tree I haven't even seen this tree before but as I was using it I was like oh my god this tree is so pretty um, yeah and the reason why I'm looking on the gallery is because uh, the pictures of your build on the gallery aren't the greatest so if you've got trees in the way or anything like that as you can see I'm gonna do here um, you've got trees in the way so you can't actually see the pictures properly which is just annoying I wish that we could just take our own pictures um, but unfortunately that's not a thing but yeah I kept on going onto the gallery because I didn't want it to obstruct the actual build so you could see it and download it you know it's a bit stupid if you can't see it yes but I love I love all these plants they're so so pretty so pretty and I've never really used them to their fullest before so you know it makes it makes a nice nice difference to use stuff that you don't use like every day in your build so very pretty changed the letterbox out as well for this like stone one because I thought hmm, it looks a bit more like it would suit this world so yeah I put that one down and just adjusting some of the plants as well and I think I put one more plant here yet yeah, and cool so we are coming to the end of the build I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoy the screenshots I hope you've had a smashing day I really do and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys